On a quiet afternoon in California, the skies looked calm, almost ordinary. Yet behind that stillness, history was being written. From the legendary Air Force Plant 42 in Palmdale, a strange aircraft, shaped like a massive flying wing with no tail, slowly rolled onto the runway. Its dark gray body blended with the asphalt beneath, giving it the appearance of a shadow rather than a machine. Only a handful of people were allowed to witness this moment. Cameras were strictly controlled, the angles carefully chosen, because what was about to take off was no ordinary plane. That aircraft was the B-21 Raider, America's newest stealth bomber. And on that day, the second B-21 lifted off the ground for the very first time, flying northeast to the legendary Edwards Air Force Base, just 25 miles away. The message was clear. The United States still holds the key to global air dominance. From the Spirit to the Raider To understand why the B-21 matters, we need to rewind to the final years of the Cold War. Back then, America unveiled the B-2 Spirit, the world's first stealth bomber. With its futuristic flying wing design, the B-2 could slip past enemy radar undetected and strike deep into hostile territory. But there was a problem, cost. The B-2 was breathtakingly expensive. Each unit cost over $2 billion, making it one of the most costly aircraft ever built. The U.S. planned to build over 100 of them, but the price tag forced production to stop at just 21 aircraft. Today, only 19 remain in service. The Spirit was a technological marvel, but also a cautionary tale. Fast forward to 2015. The Pentagon awarded Northrop Grumman the contract to develop a new bomber. This time, the goals were clear. It had to be cheaper, more versatile, and more survivable. The result was the B-21 Raider. Its name carries history. Raider was chosen to honor the Doolittle Raiders, the legendary U.S. pilots who carried out America's first air raid on Japan after Pearl Harbor. A name that evokes speed, courage, and surprise. First Flights Entering a New Era The first B-21 took to the skies in November 2023. At the time, only a silhouette was seen against the California sky. Now, with the second Raiders flight in mid-2025, the program has officially entered a new phase, mission systems testing and weapons evaluation. This isn't just about proving the plane can fly, it's about proving it can fight. The B-21 is now being tested with sensors, communication systems, and advanced weapons. According to Air Force Secretary Troy Mink, testing is on schedule. Unlike many other U.S. fighter and bomber programs, which were plagued by technical problems and ballooning budgets, the B-21 has so far stayed on track. A stealth revolution. At first glance, the B-21 looks similar to the B-20 Spirit. Both share the flying wing design, both are sleek and ominous. But beneath the skin, the Raider is an entirely different beast. B-2, Spirit, designed mainly as a heavy payload bomber. B-21, Raider, designed as a multi-role platform, a bomber, a surveillance aircraft, a command and control hub, and even a drone coordinator. The Raider's skin uses a new generation of radar-absorbing material. The B-2's stealth skin is notoriously fragile, requiring climate-controlled hangars to protect it. The B-21, however, can sit outside in the elements without major issues. Maintenance costs will drop significantly. Most importantly, the B-21 carries the most advanced intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance suite ever fielded. It can map the battlefield, detect threats, process data in real time, and share that information instantly with other aircraft, ships, or ground forces. In plain terms, the B-21 is not just a bomber, it's the brain of the battlefield. Why it works, digital testing, and a secret sister. What makes the B-21 program so successful compared to past efforts? Two reasons. First, digital testing. Northrop Grumman pioneered the use of high-fidelity digital simulations, before the Raider was ever physically built, it was tested virtually in countless scenarios. Problems that might have cost billions were solved on a computer screen. Second, 
the secret RQ-180 program. This high-altitude stealth drone, which reportedly entered service around 2015, looks suspiciously like a smaller version of the Raider. Many analysts believe that years of experience with the RQ-180 gave Northrop Grumman a huge advantage, allowing the B-21 program to leapfrog over challenges that were already solved. The cost factor. Cheaper, but not cheap. When the contract was signed in 2015, the projected cost per B-21 was $550 million. Adjusted for inflation, that would be around $762 million in today's money. Yet remarkably, the current estimated cost per aircraft is $700 million. For a cutting-edge stealth bomber, that's almost a bargain, especially compared to the B-2's astronomical price tag. The Department of Defense plans to buy at least 100 B-21s, with discussions already pointing to a higher number, possibly 150 or more. These Raiders will eventually replace both the aging B-2 Spirit and the B-1B Lancer, becoming the backbone of America's strategic bomber fleet. The global race, rivals fall behind. Of course, America isn't alone in wanting stealth bombers. Russia has been working on the PAKDA, a stealth flying wing bomber. But sanctions, financial troubles, and technical delays mean it may not fly until well into the 2030s. China is rumored to be developing the H-20, a stealth bomber said to rival the B-2 in appearance. Yet details remain vague, and no operational prototypes have been confirmed. In both cases, the gap is clear. The United States is years, if not decades, ahead. With 30-plus years of B-2 experience, America has already learned the lessons of stealth bomber operations. The B-21 is the refined product of all that knowledge. The Future Doctrine offensive coordinator in the sky picture. This. A B-21 flies thousands of miles from its base, slipping past enemy radars. At high altitude, it controls a swarm of AI-enabled drones, directs F-35s and F-22s in the fight, communicates with ships at sea, and relays intel to troops on the ground. The Raider doesn't just drop bombs, it coordinates the entire war effort. If the F-35 is the quarterback in the sky, then the B-21 is the offensive coordinator. It sees the whole field, makes the calls, and ensures that every asset, from missiles to drones, works in harmony. And with a payload capacity of over 30,000 pounds when it does strike, it hits hard. Global Impact The arrival of the B-21 Raider at the end of this decade will reshape global power dynamics. For Russia, still struggling with its economy, the Raider is a nightmare. Even advanced air defense systems like the S-400 or S-500 may not be enough. For China, it's a reminder that while they are advancing quickly, America still leads in strategic aviation. For U.S. allies, the B-21 is reassurance. Its global reach means America can project power anywhere, anytime strengthening NATO and Indo-Pacific alliances. Conclusion, a new era. From the moment it first took off, the B-21 Raider has captured the imagination of the military world. It represents the culmination of decades of lessons learned, successes and failures alike. Where the B-2 spirit was a symbol of Cold War ambition and extravagance, the B-21 is a symbol of 21st century efficiency, adaptability, and power projection. It is not just another aircraft, it is the foundation of America's strategic edge for the next half century. And when it enters service, one truth will be clear. The future of air warfare belongs to the Raider.